and welcome to my January recommendations. The monthly recommendations group was created by Trina and Kayla and I'll leave the links to the channels and also the Goodreads group down below if you want to check it out and join us. This month's topic is fantasy so let's just get into it. The first series I want to recommend to you is an epic fantasy series and it is the Mistborn Trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. And a lot of people have read this series this year. I read it last year and it's the first epic fantasy story that I ever read and I really really enjoyed it. The magic system is just so unique and I really enjoyed the plotline of it. How the magic works is you have to consume some type of metal in order to do certain things. Some people can't do anything, some people can do one of the things and a very very few number can do all of it. Our main character finds out that she can do all of it. So some of the things could be speed or strength and some could be subduing people's emotions or heightening people's emotions. The whole plot of this starts out with this group of bandits who want to overthrow the evil ruler of this land and it's just amazing and I don't want to spoil anything so I think I'll just leave it at that. It's kind of one of those books where you go into it not really knowing a whole lot and just everything just kind of opens up to you and it's just amazing. For me personally the first 100 pages was a bit difficult to get through because first of all I'd never read any epic fantasy so the world building was very slow for me because as an epic fantasy there is a lot of world building because it's a completely different universe and a lot of things has to be kind of established how things are done and the magic system and stuff like that. Maybe you like it slow but I just wasn't prepared for that so that's why it was a bit difficult for me. But after you get past that it's just amazing and sometimes there's a lot of action, sometimes it's more world building but I think it's a good amount of both and I really really highly recommend it. The next series I want to recommend is The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. This is an old series and some people think that you should read it like in chronological order and some people say that you should read it in publication order. I read it in chronological order and I really want to reread it soon because I just really really enjoy it. A lot of people know about the Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe and I don't know which book is my favorite but I really really enjoy them. I just really really enjoyed this series. It's very easy to get through. It's middle grade and it's just great. <laughs> In general it's about children arriving in this magical, kind of magical land of Narnia and Narnia is very different from their own world and there's a lot of animals and animals can talk in Narnia and something is kind of going wrong and they have to help fix it. It's kind of difficult to talk in general about the series because there's a lot of different main characters. Some have a couple of books and others just have one book but I just really enjoyed it very very much. The last fantasy series I want to recommend to you is The Saga of Darren Shan. This is a middle grade series consisting of 12 books that kind of split into four different trilogies and I read them I think within a month uh, because they're very very short and very fast paced and it's about Darren Shan who becomes a half vampire. I really enjoyed the world building of this. It, it's not like a lot of world building because it is middle grade but there's some things about the hierarchy in the vampire world and how they differ from these other kind of creatures called the vampanese that kind of resembles vampires but there are some differences and it's just an all-around good time well it's kind of tragic at some points but I really really enjoyed it and I would highly recommend them. So those were the fantasy books I wanted to recommend to you. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye!